Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. Oh, I thought I would give you the weekend off. I was going to give you the weekend off, but then I thought, do you know what? These amazing people, do they... Should I, should I give them something? Something at the weekend? Is there going to be something that I can, that I can pass across to them? And... Lo and, lo and behold, the, the, the Idaho, the Moscow, Idaho gods gave us some new documents. And yes, did I just tell you that you look amazing? Remember, you are amazing. And we're going to quickly, very quickly, because I'm not going to make this a long video, just touch on the fact that we are now, we are now looking at an eighth, that's it, an eighth request for discovery. How is that right? Please tell me down below how it is right at all that the defence team of Brian Koberger has had to request discovery eight times. Eight times. Let that sink in. Let's just think what's happened in this case. So he has a preliminary here and set, ready to go. And he's also been told by... Uh, someone who's been working on their behalf. Oh, by the way, one of the surviving roommates has information that could be exculpatory to your case. Could be exculpatory. Do you know what that means? If you don't know what it means, learn. But it basically means that there is a surviving person, a surviving member who was in that house who seemingly has information that could prove or be pertinent to your case for saying that you didn't do this crime and look regardless of how people feel and we all have our thoughts and opinions and thoughts and opinions look some of us believe that there could potentially be something else involved someone else involved even some people believe that brian Koberg is completely completely innocent some people believe that he is guilty as charged but ultimately, these are just opinions. Just opinions. Realistically, the only person who knows the truth is the person who did the crime. Even the entire legal system is basically just guesswork, unless they have something absolutely concrete that blows everything out of the water and proves beyond a reasonable doubt that he did this crime. And if they have that, if they have that piece of information, then why has it taken eight requests for discovery? It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. And when you pair that with the fact that they are seemingly trying to get cameras out of the courtroom, it, it doesn't bode well for public trust. And look... What I will say is we've also seen that it would appear that the defence team themselves also want cameras out of the courtroom. But can you blame them? Can you blame them when you are just seeing this constant barrage of, I don't know, just, just attack after attack after attack after attack after attack. Guilty, guilty, guilty. We've had... These, these companies, these media companies who have gone on as far as to say that the person who did this, Brian, <laughs> who they're saying, they're, they're naming him and saying he, he spilt his blood in there. And it was blood that they found in there. And, you know, got him banged to rights that way. They're saying that he was a stalker, that he'd broken into people's houses, that he'd set cameras up and was stalking people, that he, they've, they've scrutinised you know, these, these videos that see him interacting with officers saying that he's a narcissist and this, that and the other. You know, every single publication that you see by mainstream media has been twisted in some way to make it look like the guy is indeed a psycho. And and look, they're all here to make money. I'm here to make money and deliver the news, to talk and have a discussion. And that's what we do. That's what we do. But some people have got no ethics whatsoever. Got no ethics whatsoever. There's a difference between questioning things and having an opinion, but then pushing something as fact and angling it and wording it in such a way that you know that the power that you have to convince people of a certain thing, and you weaponize that. 
you you weaponize your ability to coerce people into believing what you have to say and that's where some of these channels and some of these entities fall down from an ethics perspective but anyway eight eight requests for discovery and there was also being attached to it an exhibit g now and exhibit g and again they're stipulating in amongst this exhibit g that the reason that they are looking to seal and attach that is because there is information contained within it that again seemingly is pointing towards the fact that it could put somebody's life at risk and we've gone over this and i believe it was um captain sexy over at lawyer you know he had kind of alluded to the fact that when these have these statements in these documents it is because they are relevant statements to make so they can't they it, so there's not just a blanket thing where they say right we're just going to list everything as to why it's sealed there has to be some the, the reason has to be valid you know so if they believe that there is information and contained that could indeed put someone's life at risk put them at risk then they would stipulate that if it's for some other reason then they would just stipulate that and that would be omitted from it so what is it what information is out there what is being attached to these dogs is so frustrating that we can't see but no I, but i'm not arrogant enough to think that we we have we have the authority to say look we 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 should see that we we need to get it and the only reason why i feel that a lot of us feel that way is because so much is being hidden and then when you pair things like this eighth request for you know for, for discovery it just doesn't make sense i don't understand how someone can could have been held in in jail for 11 months after again as i was going to say previously and that was about having the this set up this preliminary hearing that was all set in place to go and all of a sudden it's gone because it would seem that th some information was found and that was being held but that was being hidden that was being stopped access to we can't let you get to that so we're going to do this instead that then removes the ability for you but can you imagine if this guy is, is is innocent can you imagine if he's sitting there he's been told that someone has evidence that could release him from this position but they're stopping it they're hiding it and and then he's his team are asking for stuff asking for stuff tell us why we're here tell us why we're here give us all what you have and they're just not doing it not doing it not doing it just doesn't make sense to me doesn't just let me know maybe it's my ignorance of the united states judicial system but please tell me why we would be in a position where the prosecution are unwilling to hand over their discovery to to give everything that they have or is this just games and is there no more to give let me know down below have an amazing weekend and i shall catch you all maybe tomorrow see you then